like, yeah, it seems like we already talked about the Flash. But... Yeah, but we did not about not about this, Shane. Ain't not about this. And this is important, and I'll tell you why. I'm just gonna. Is it important? <laughs> well, it's not important to you. Well, I mean, it's no. I mean, what I'm saying is, is, is this news important? What this this is Flash movie set video reveals first look at Ezra Miller's new costume. Right. So, but that right. picture is not the new costume. Ah, very flu. Right. Right. Let me let me let me put the. Because they and didn't it, really reveal. I guess what I'm trying to say is they didn't really reveal his oh new my costume. God. I'm just like spinning around. I'm trying to get you over so that doesn't show any of the ads. All right. Yeah. They, no, well, no, they don't reveal it. What do they do here? They say that, that's a little tiny picture of it. It's not much. Well, what? Look, like, look, look, look. You know, I mean, no, that's not his suit, though. See, it's a lot of that CGI. A lot of it is, but it, but it shows that it's going to be uh, cotton, right? Kind no, cotton, but like material. Like his, his no, face is not. So. It's no longer armored. Like the in the Justice League version, it was like it was like armored, bro. Like look at this. Well, I can't really see the head. Okay, so a couple more things about this, though, okay? Very few plot points for The Flash have been revealed, but it's expected to feature a version of Flashpoint storyline from the comics, including Batman, both Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck, and Supergirl, Sasha Kelly. We already know Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, and Supergirl will be in this. Yes. Right? Plus, the Arrow versus Grant Gustin, who plays Barry on television, Reportedly has a cameo in The Flash. That's good. I'm glad. I'm really glad that Grant's going to get that. He should. Right. And hope maybe he makes it his last cameo. If I were him. <laughs> maybe. Because he's a good actor, man. So far, much about much of the news about the film has surrounded the set pictures and videos that emerged online. So here's the reason why um, this is interesting. Because if, if you've been following the news on, you know, the, the, the people that are just watching the set footage and all that. We are. We actually saw, and I don't have it here, and I don't want to get, I don't want to get taken down. But there's a a scene where it shows Ben Affleck writing a, so Ben Affleck's definitely in the movie. Yeah. He's writing a Batman motorcycle that actually looks like one of the motorcycles that um, Michael Keaton would have ridden. Oh, okay. And um, through through the Central City, and. Huh. There's shots of Supergirl in her in the Supergirl in the Supergirl um costume, but it's using the same exact crest of Harry Henry Cavill's Supergirl. It's the crazy, really? like the you know, like the filigree one, not the Superman that we're used to. It's the the Henry Cavill Superman crest is very specific to Man of Steel, and she's rocking the same exact crest. So it is set in that universe. Has Ben Affleck. Has Supergirl, has Michael Keaton, has Grant Gustin. It's 100% going to be a Flashpoint thing. If it is going to be Flashpoint, there will be a Gal Gadot, which she's also, to, I guess she's, there's talks of her in it. There's like some IMDb stuff, but nothing, nothing 100% out there yet. And we might be able to finally see um, Henry Campbell actually sent up. Like they don't want to deal with Henry Cavill anymore. They want the fans to you know, have an in-universe reason for, for getting Henry Cavill out of that role, mm -hmm. this would be the this would be the movie to do it in. You would introduce Henry Cavill in this role and, and have have Flashpoint modify his maybe just blink him out of existence and make Supergirl. People would not like that, but at no. least there'd be an in-universe reason why he's no longer exists, right? Yeah, they can either this can actually be really good or this can be a complete and utter mess. Right, but it could be a canon reason for them to make changes they want to make. There's, you know, this whole thing about canon with Superman is so weird, you know, because you have Reeves as Superman, and then you've got that weird Superman that kind of came in between, and, you know, you've got Smallville Superman. There's just so many versions of it. It's hard to talk about canon, you know what I mean, when it comes to Superman. Yeah, that's true. Here's the, here it is, by the way, Shane. This is the Supergirl crest. See that oh, yeah. same right. one as on uh, with as what's her name? What's his name? Yep, you're right. Um, yeah, I just I get what you're saying. I just I want what I want the Snyderverse. I want what we've already invested into. I know we're I, not going to get that, but if we can get a version of that, 
I guess I'll be okay with that too. And here's Michael Keaton. Yes, here it is. Yeah, yeah no, that's cool. I'm I'm really I'm really excited to see this movie. I'm just also a little scared to be honest with you. Yeah, there's Michael Keaton. I'm afraid they're going to ruin it. You know, I'm afraid they're going to mess it up. And there's that little bit. Of, I just want to go enjoy it. And you know, the way we left Justice League, at least even though it doesn't it isn't finished, at least it's good. You know, that's true. That's very true. At least it's good. And you know what? We we will always have that four hour epic masterpiece that I will watch once a quarter for the rest of my life. Yep, same here, bro. That I recently saw that scene again. Someone put it on TikTok or something, where um, Steppenwolf's about to axe uh, Cyborg when Cyborg is trying to like control the boxes, uh-huh. and all of a sudden Superman just appears and just blocks the axe, mm. and then just like slowly freezes the axe into pieces and like it was like just superman god mode dude right right just handled this guy that the rest of the team could not deal with he i just, love that yeah oh it's so good it just set the tone i love that this so really good. showed how powerful superman really is oh man so good okay well that's not about the flash i the reason i thought that news was new is was being able to see the set pictures and see that his costume even if oh. it's not even if it's grainy looks a little bit more like the flash that we're used to totally newsworthy i just was saying that i just didn't felt like we got much from those pictures of the flash now those other ones with the supergirl and michael keaton and you know those are cool i just felt like it's basically showing us you know what it's showing us it's going to be there's going to be a lot of cgi to his outfit yeah well yeah that's true that's true but i didn't really like the armored look as much as i like the the Zack Snyder's Justice League. I never really liked the armored look on him. Yeah, I didn't actually like that myself. I kind of prefer the way Grant Gustin like looks. And I gotta say, in the original Justice League, when it shows, I'm oh, not sorry, Batman vs Superman, when when he goes back in a time or whatever, and he's trying to talk to Batman in that dream. I didn't know that was the Flash. I know it looked so weird. Yeah, it looked right. like some like I who had, so we had not been introduced to that character, so we didn't even really know the guy's face. And he's wearing like this weird like helmet or something. You're like, yeah, who's that, that, that guy supposed to be? If it, yeah. if it had actually had the Flash emblem on his on his mask, right? Then you would have been like, oh, look at that, a Flashpoint thing, yeah. Right. But no, it was like a weird armor thing. It didn't work, dude. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake there. Okay, so we can be critical. Yeah, we can be critical about. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and there's like. 30 minutes I just cut out of the movie they didn't have to cut out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> to see the full conversation, become a member of the podcast family. Use the link in the description below or go to our channel and click the join button. Select your tier and we'll see you at the next show.